In the headlines, Ghana currently has no active cases of the Marbeck virus. We bring you scenes from the military academy in Teshi, where 161 cadet corps were today are commissioned into the Ghana Armed Forces. At the same ceremony, President Akufuado announced approval for the Ghana Armed Forces to be expanded to be able to deal with contemporary security threats. Police administration introduces a policy to recruit qualified family members to replace police officers who die in a line of duty. And Johnson & Johnson to stop selling talcum powder following thousands of lots used from women who allege its talcum powder contain asbestos and cause them to develop ovarian cancer. Welcome to Graphic Online's News in Brief. Ghana currently has no active cases of the Marbeck virus disease, a month after recording the first case of the highly infectious zoonotic disease on July 4th. In line with World Health Organization guidelines, the outbreak will be declared over after 42 days of the last negative test if there are no new cases. All of Ghana's three cases of MVD were related, a father, mother and son. The Ghana Health Service in a press release on Thursday said the mother, a 24-year-old, was Ghana's sole survivor and has since been discharged and reunited with her family. And as part of efforts to help increase the manpower base of the Ghana Armed Forces, for the military to be able to deal with contemporary emerging security threats in the country and the entire West African sub-region, 161 officer cadet corps were today commissioned into the army as regular career course 61. President Tukufuado, who is the commander-in-chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, was a reviewing officer. He commissioned the cadets for them to be fully-fledged commissioned military officers. The toast of the regimented parade was the Ghana Armed Forces mass band that used tunes from popular music collections like the signature tunes of Game of Thrones, Amulanga by Magic System and Kweku the Traveller by Black Sharif to match in various formation to the admiration and applause of the audience. Senior under cadet officer Emmanuel Apia Hansen was adjudged the best all-round officer in the regular career course. Still at the same ceremony at the Military Academy at Teshi in Accra, President Akufuado announced the approval for the expansion of the Ghana Armed Forces to enable it deal with the current contemporary emerging and future security threats. President Akufuado said for the country to be able to deal with the threat, the expansion of the Ghana Armed Forces was necessary. He said, in line with the threat analysis, the acquisition of requisite equipment, logistics, infrastructure development and increase in manpower are being pursued vigorously. In terms of manpower expansion, the Ghana Armed Forces has recruited and trained some 3,000 soldiers between 2017 and 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, in view of the contemporary emerging and future threats in our region, addressing security issues cannot be business as usual. The government has thus approved the expansion of the Ghana Armed Forces to cater for these threats. The strategic expansion and modernization of the Armed Forces, in line with the threat analysis and the acquisition of the requisite equipment, logistics, infrastructure development and increase in manpower, are being pursued vigorously. In terms of manpower expansion, the Armed Forces has recruited and trained some 3,000 soldiers between 2017 and 2020. It has since 2021 embarked on accelerated nationwide recruitment and training to turn out a minimum of 4,000 officers and soldiers annually until 2024 in order to beef up the strength of our Armed Forces to optimal levels. Thus, a minimum of 2,000 recruits are trained in recruit training schools of the three services every six months, whilst the strength of officer court cadets enlisted in recent times has been increased exponentially since 2020. Notwithstanding the COVID-19 pandemic, 163 were enlisted for regular career in course in K-61 in 2020, whilst 210 
have been enlisted for regular career course intake 62 this year. From the military, we take you to the police where some sweet news for police personnel and their families following the police administration's announcement that it has introduced a new policy where a policeman or an officer who die in the line of duty will be replaced by a qualified relative, either a son, daughter, brother or a sister who qualifies. The Inspector General of Police, Dr. George Akufudampari, who made this known said it is to help serve as a motivation for the personnel. The IGP explained that the recruitment of the said son or daughter as replacement will be based solely on qualification. Speaking at a public lecture at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology on Thursday, the IGP added that the initiative is to help compensate the family for a loss of their kin. He explained that the move is part of measures to encourage officers to deliver their best. We have provisionalized the environment to the level that when you die in line of duty with all the courtesy that we give, we also open the opportunity for a child of yours or a brother who is qualified to be recruited to take your place. The relative will continue the works that you could not finish because of your untimely death in line of duty. So it will be a way of pacifying the family for their loss, he said. That we give you, we also open the opportunity for a child of yours or a brother of yours who qualifies to be recruited to take your place whenever there is a recruitment process ongoing. So that that child continues the work you couldn't finish because of your untimely death, which was also in line with what? Duty. And then you know, more or less like a way of pacifying the family for their loss. And to wrap it up, Johnson & Johnson will stop making and selling its talc-based baby powder around the world from next year. The announcement comes more than two years after the healthcare giant ended sales of the product in the U.S. Johnson & Johnson faces tens of thousands of lawsuits from women who allege its calcum powder contain asbestos and cause them to develop ovarian cancer. But the company retreated its view that decades of independent research shows the product is safe to use. As part of a worldwide portfolio assessment, we have made a commercial decision to transition to an all cornstarch based baby powder portfolio, it said in a statement. The firm added that cornstarch-based baby powder is already sold in countries around the world. At the same time, J&J reiterated its position that its baby powder is safe to use. Our position on safety of our cosmetic talc remains unchanged. Graphic Online's News in Brief is brought to you by Graphic News Plus. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Visit us on graphic.com.gh for further information. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. Thank you for watching. For more news, please visit our website graphic.com.gh or follow us on Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube and Twitter at GraphicGH. I am Enoch Daffa Frimpong. Subscribe now.